you mentioned earlier uh, to me that you uh, have been reading an interesting book of late. Yes, this book. How the West Became Anti-Semitic, Jews and the Formation of Europe, 800 to 1500, by Ivan G. Marcus. Right. Tell us about it's, it. It's a uh, Princeton publication, Princeton University publication. And what I got out of this was surprising. Um, he lays out a very convincing case for the fact that as bad as life was for medieval Jews in Europe. They didn't surrender. They didn't roll over. Uh, they fought as best they could. And this is what ultimately infuriated um, Christendom, so to speak, that the Jews would not buckle. They would not convert. They would remain Jews at whatever cost it took to do so. And it's almost like a breath of fresh air when I read things like, um, just a quick quote, that in medieval Europe, Jews were not passive victims of the Christian community, as is often assumed, but rather were startlingly assertive, forming a Jewish civilization within Latin Christian society that would not surrender. Wow. That caught me right off the bat because it ran counter to everything I thought I knew about medieval Jewry, which to, in my mind was just a an unending, seemingly unending succession of massacres and uh, displacements and disputations. He describes the disputations in here, and um, our guys didn't back off even at the risk of death uh, to read some of these disputations where the Christian side was represented by what I call fallen Jews um, who for one reason or another Post chose the apostate, other apostate Jews apostates apostates like, like Pablo Cristiani correct um or who was it in Spain during the uh, Inquisition? Um, I just read about him also. Um, his name started with T. I can't remember his name now. But the our people, the proud Jews, stood up to them and backed them down. And then, unfortunately, paid the price for it. But um, as I said, it's worth reading this book. Because a lot of the issues that we're dealing with now with the reemergence into the open of anti-Semitism, I'm not going to call it anti-Zionism, it's anti-Semitism that we see, uh, have its roots right here in the Middle Ages in Europe. And the issues might be slightly different, but um, the intensity of the hatred uh, towards us is unfortunately the same. But uh, to know the history, well, it's comforting because as bad as things were back then, and they were bad, with God's help, we survived. That's an important point, I think, that is shown in this book. With the help of Hashem, we survived. And that's a lesson we have to learn here again in our fight for survival against the Islamo-Nazi fascists. Only with God's help are we going to win and survive. As we shall, Bezrat Hashem, with Hashem's help, uh, today and in the coming days and months and years, we are, after all, still, I believe, in the early stages of a Unfortunately. long, drawn-out war, which should, of course, have been... Uh, executed and prosecuted very differently. But uh, we have, on the one hand, made every possible mistake, and we are led, led by by donkeys, as the expression is, the famous historic uh, expression is, uh, lions led by donkeys, referring to the First World War. The British, British, British army. Uh, army yeah. Nevertheless, the Jewish people has within it 
tremendous reserves of inner strength, and we have always known how to overcome all our enemies, foreign and domestic, as we shall today <laughs> and in the future, Bezrat Hashem. I mean, I thank you once again, Yonatan, my friend, for this interesting and uh, illuminating conversation, and we shall meet again soon. Hayu Baruchim, all of you, all of our listeners, be blessed. May Hashem shine His light upon you. Shalom, unisachon, peace, and victory. Amen.